So now that we have entered the rainy season here in September 26th of 2024, we can uncover our banana circle and show you guys what we've been planning. We've been planning all this, so you've been panicking. Having a banana circle with a bananakin and a mannequin wearing a bandana in an abandoned band-aid factory. Pulling shenanigans. That's what we've been planning while you've been panicking. <laughs> Uh, this is a papaya named Nelia, after our real estate agent. You can see this is where I filmed the morning <laughs> banana show. Uh, yeah, and Desiree and I just used this banana circle as a dance floor and had a little private dance party, and I feel like that's a good use for it. We've also had a meditation uh, group here, did like a spiritual energy work thing here as well. Uh, yeah, so you're in the banana circle now. So when you watch the morning banana show, um, this is where I'm filming from, from the Algarve. One of our favorite methods of adding back to the soil is the chop and drop method. So we're adding the nutrients and the minerals and vitality and herbal mass. <laughs> back to the soil so uh, the leaf and the plant the leaf of the plant knows what the plant needs so just basically chop and drop and give it right back to the soil and it will become part of the forest floor uh, so yeah one of my favorite things to do is chop and drop we learned that from orchard of flavors it's kind of intuitive anyway because the plants in nature especially in the rainforest would do exactly that if they're untouched by humans and somehow bananas, as an example, grow fine in the rainforest by themselves. Speaking of bananas, while we're here looking at my banana circle and the seven dwarfs, you're seeing it in its early phases, so good for you getting on here on the ground floor. And you're gonna enjoy this uh, banana harvest with us, but as an example of how fertile the soil is and how fertile our plants are, let's just check this out. Each banana palm that we bought, one of the seven dwarves, is actually a family. So there's one, two, three, four, let's say four plus the main one. That's five generations of banana right there. So we'll get five generations of, of a banana tree that will produce actual edible bananas right there. That's five, five trees. This is three. The main one right there is one baby. One, two, three right here. This might be four. It's crazy. And each one of our banana palms is in multiples like that. So they're happy, they're growing. This is, this is another example. One, two, three. That might be it. Three. Oh, four right there. Coming up. So, yeah, we call them the seven dwarves, but it's actually <laughs> the seven heads of the household. And I was saying, you know, we attract pollinators by putting out little feeders. There's an example of pollinator attraction in action. This bee is just thirsty and tired. Desiree had the idea to put a shell from the ocean there. So yeah, here at Love Farmstay, we're doing permaculture, vegan farming, no animal compost that isn't dropped naturally from the sky. We don't live in some delusional world where we don't know that there's birds that fly over and poop and critters and crawler, creepy crawlers that come through here and poop. But we're not purchasing cow manure. Where was I? I was. We're not purchasing cow manure or horse manure or sheep manure as many people have tried to advise us. And instead we're doing chop and drop we're adding compost as we can. 
keep in mind when I add compost, my vegetarian compost or vegan compost over there, this is what it turns into. So originally this was just a banana palm in, uh, in the ground and then I added some compost and it turned into whatever this is. <laughs> a bunch of squash that are about to give fruit, we'll see. So when I give compost to these things, it turns into some like some other magical thing going on. So we have to be careful about how much magic, how much magic we're spreading around. <laughs> this is vetiver. I've seen guys uh, take the vetiver and interlace it between two posts. Like I could do that here, use this as a track and like just lay down vetiver. And over time you can imagine you building a wall a vetiver. I might do something like that here. We've seen other banana circles that do exactly that. So that's kind of where my head is at. We're going to have a lot of organic matter and a lot of organic compost coming from uh, these vetiver plants. But that was the idea. That's why we bought so many of them. <clears throat> yeah, so pretty simple. Chop and drop. You're adding back to the soil. This is one vegan way to do it without using without using uh, animal byproducts. So as the bananas keep growing they give us lots of lots of branches and lots of uh, the vetiver specifically gives us lots of organic compost that we get to give back. So instead of just piling it in spots or getting rid of it to quote unquote clean the garden uh, giving it back to the soil replenishes the soil. And when you do the Miyoki method of farming, then you get canopy level shrubs and then ground cover. So you're constantly in a regenerative cycle of like permaculture farming. Right, Desiree? That's the idea. So we're not monocropping. Monocropping is a great way to deplete the soil, right? Where you wind up with completely dusty soil that is uh, useless. Monocropping is like an, uh, an amazing way to ruin your soil and to deplete the fertility of your soil. And if you're monocropping, then yeah, you'll need to constantly add things. And this is where farmers get into the, well, we have to add the sheep manure. We have to add the horse manure and the cow dung because look at our soil. Yeah, monocropping, not fantastic. Monocropping fields of corn and corn and corn. Fields of corn while you're standing there and you're bored looking at your corn, looking at your corn porn. <laughs> while you're standing under the sky and you're scorned. <laughs> Welcome to Love Farms Day, where every day is a fun adventure. The candy is for the kids though, right? Yeah. Yep, totally for the kids. <laughs> Are you tired of reincarnating? Me too! Now show the world <laughs> that you don't want to reincarnate with this Do Not Reincarnate t-shirt! <laughs>